Hello and welcome back to our channel. We are here today at Coronado National Memorial in Arizona. This is a tribute to the Spanish explorer Francisco Vasquez de Coronado. As always, we have started our visit to the park here by coming along to the visitor center. We've got our passport stamped and we have a plan. So from here, we're gonna be driving up the scenic road, hiking along Montezuma Pass and heading up to Coronado Peak. Coronado National Memorial lies right on the US border with Mexico and you can actually see it heading off there into the horizon. Coronado National Memorial, unlike a historic site or a monument, doesn't have any artifacts or relics of Coronado's expedition here. Instead, the park was established in 1941 to commemorate the long-lasting impact of the expedition and the culture that was brought here by the Spanish at the time. Francisco Coronado was a Spanish explorer who set out from Mexico City in 1540 to explore this entire area. And he was specifically looking for seven cities of gold. Two years later, he hadn't found his seven cities of gold. He'd found no cities of gold, in fact. But he was one of the first people to have explored this area on behalf of the Europeans. On his expedition, Coronado brought with him 1,500 men and 6,000 cattle. But when the natives brought him gifts of food and berries and things, they were insulted. All they wanted was gold. It wasn't until their expedition ran out of food, they realized how foolish they had been and that they probably should have accepted those very valuable gifts. Along the way, they've got these little information signs and they have information about the, the landscape, the wildlife, but also about Coronado and his exploration. At the last sign, we learned that at the time of the expedition, they would have had a person in the group whose job it was, was to count the steps and therefore to find out how much distance they had covered. And the sign tasked us with counting our steps to the next sign. So Diana, what are we up to now? 60. 60 so far. So let's see what the next sign says. 160, 161, 162, 163, 164, 165. 165 steps since the last sign. The hike to the top of Coronado Peak here is not a long hike, it's only 0.4 miles, but it climbs about 300 feet during that time, so it is fairly steep. The trail is well laid out, it's well maintained, there's steps and things to get you up, so it's not too hard going, and the views are spectacular, look at this. finished the Coronado Peak hike and we did a little bit of Joe's trail and now we're gonna have a lunch that we prepared this morning. Now we are on Coronado Cave Trail which is a half a mile long trail that leads to Coronado Cave. The cave is 600 feet deep and 20 feet wide. Coronado Cave is a limestone cave like Carlsberg Caverns. However, Carlsberg Caverns was made with sulfuric acid, but this cave was made with carbonic acid. And we have arrived at the cave. This is a completely wild cave. It hasn't been developed like the Cosmo Caverns caves are. Ready to enter the cave? I was born ready for this. But in actual fact, no, this is actually quite steep. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I need more hands. Careful, your camera, 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 going down. Thank you, Diana. That's what I was referring to when I said I need more hands. I'm officially a cave dweller. 
No, you're just a cave explorer. No, I'm dwelling. Put my gloves on. Ew. What is that? A lot of flies. Okay. Alive or dead? Uh, very much alive. Every so often in here, there's like this humming sound and there are like thousands of flies. You can see them on the wall here and then they just start like buzzing around. It's pretty hideous. So we're back here in the cave and it's kind of cool. Like we're a couple of hundred feet in with the only people here got several flashlights with us but without these it is absolutely pitch black. I'm whispering because the sound travels so far in here and we're still not at the end so we're going to go further in. Oh look on the right, stalactite. Are you ready to light it up? Yep. We've made it to the end of the cave. There's one last little room just down here, but it's just full of flies and I can see the back wall. It's just maybe 20 feet inside. So I'm calling this the end of the cave. So this is our day at the Coronado National Memorial. This is unit number eight in our quest to visit all the national park units in the United States. Next up, we'll be at Tumakakari National Historic Park, so hit that subscribe button and make sure you don't miss that video. I've been waiting for another drop to drop for three minutes, but alas, it hasn't happened. Next up will be Tukamkari. Tumakakari. Next up will be Tumakakari National Monument. <laughs> Please hold. National Historic Park. 